Uh, one of the things that was really interesting that came up in our discussions yesterday was uh, uh, the reference to your uh, phone call that you had from a rather famous character back from the 60s, I believe. Yes, that was very interesting. I told you I was the editor of the newspaper, and I was in the office one day, and the phone rang. This would have been, I think, 1968. And at that time, the Beatles, the, the, the group, of course, was the big, well-known, worldwide adulation of these four boys from Liverpool. And my telephone rang, and a boy, voice said, Geoffrey Brandon. I said, yes. He said, this is Paul McCartney. And I waited and I thought, <laughs> now wait a moment, this is one of my crazy friends and I have a few of those. He was just having a, a little joke and I waited and tried to place the voice and think. And he said on the telephone, are you still there? <laughs> he thought I'd run off. Are you still there? And I said, yes, I'm trying to work out who you are. And he said, I'm Paul McCartney. And I said, do you really mean you're one of the Beatles? He said, well, yes, I am. <laughs> And I realized it was, at that time, he told me, a new television network was due to open quite soon, called London Weekend Television. And one of the programs that was to be part of their opening sequence was called Thingamy Bob, a comedy, a light-hearted piece, based on a, a lovely character, Bob, you know, who was forgetful but a, a lovely kid. and Paul McCartney had been asked to supply the music for the signature tune for the opening credits and the closing credits which was called Thingamy Bob and he wanted this to be recorded by a brass band this was during the time I was the conductor at Black Knight Mills so he said I, I really need to you'd like to do it would you and I said yes of course we would be delighted he said well I want to see you quite quickly and the next day I went to see him in a very large office in Mayfair the most expensive part of London and there he sat behind a, an oval desk with about four or five telephones all looking very grand with his guitar leaning against the wall and he said and I said to him man so tell me about it he said well you know this is the signature tune and we need, want it to be recorded by a a brass band and he said my father always told me that the best brass band in England was Black Dyke Mill so that's why I wanted recorded by Black Dyke <laughs> yes. I said fine right so I said uh, what about an arrangement he said I want you to make an arrangement I said okay could you give me a copy of the music he said oh no 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 I don't I don't write things down I sing it to you <laughs> so leaning back he picked up his guitar and tuned it and he said this is how it goes so I grabbed a piece of manuscript paper to take it down and he sang thing of me Bob you didn't bump on me he said and I want that last little bit keep that in so I said good fine yes go on I think I've got that down so I said, go on, what, sing some more. He said, no, 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 that's it, there isn't any more. <laughs> I said, really, is that all? He, oh, yes, he said, you fill it out. So I said, well, it's the opening credits and the opening signature tune, and the, uh, how long do you, do, do you want? He said, oh, I would think about three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and I, <laughs> so, so I went away and scored and got in touch with the band and, you know, and said, well, look, this is a recording that we, we must do. I mean, they were a very busy schedule, but we must fit this in, whatever happens, you see. And I went back in about 10 days' time with the score and said to him, and he said, well, that's fine, get the parts copied, you know. So, so I said, um, are you going to issue this? He said, yes, we're going to put this onto what then was called a little EP. You know, mm -hmm. people of a certain age will know what that was, a little recording. Yeah. But of course it had an A side and a B side. So I said, well, what about the B side? What are you going to put? He said, that's a good thought. Yes, he said, now we, meeting the Beatles, we're making a film very good. He said, there's a good tune in this film. That would be good for the B-side. What's the tune? He said, Yellow Submarine. <laughs> really? <laughs> so I said, well, you mean you want an arrangement? Of, yes, I should need an arrangement. For the band. <laughs> so I went away again with Yellow. But uh, he came up to where the band were in Yorkshire, Bradford. And we, we had a marvelous time. I brought my family up. 
Yes. And in the band, Michael, I've referred to my son, in Yellow Submarine, for sound effect, I had used a wind machine. And there wasn't anybody to play it. So I said to Michael, would you like, yes, I would. So on that recording, Michael is playing the wind machine. But Paul McCartney was an absolutely wonderful person to work with. An absolute gem. He played the trumpet a little, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but we had great times together. He brought his, his sheepdog. He had a huge sheepdog called Martha, who came down to breakfast with him at the hotel and shared his a, a breakfast. He ordered two breakfasts, one for himself <laughs> and one for Martha. It was an absolutely lovely, lovely meeting with him. Yeah, and I hope one day to meet him again. It's great. So, uh, what do you think the chance of finding that recording? Well, I will look.